we have our drawing program laid out. We have a design for how we're going to put other elements in it. Now we need to actually start making it interactive. And so first we need to understand how do we just make things interactive in Scala FX. So we can start with some simple things. The menu items, for example, they work a lot like buttons and they give us a good example of how we are going to make things interactive in here. So I'm going to put this after the tab pane because it turns out that some of these uh, some of these options will actually, for example, create new tabs and so I need to have the tab pane built before I do that. The easiest one to deal with is, at least for now, is the exit item. And so it's a good place to start to show how we're going to do the interactivity. So things like menu items and buttons and all of the elements that kind of have some very simple action that you can do to them have the ability to set an on action. And it needs to be a function. And that function takes something called an action event. Now note that my AE here is just, it's a variable name. I could have just called it E, I could have called it event, I could call it whatever I want. I have a tendency to use the initials for things. And once again, we want the Scala FX version here. And to exit from a program, we call sys.exit of zero. Now at some point, we'll probably wanna make it so that after we have the ability to save, when this happens, all of our tabs get closed. So let's put in a little comment here that will remind us to do that. Okay. One of the nice things about these comments in Eclipse that actually say to do is they get marked. They show up as a blue box over on this side and on the tasks list, uh, it keeps track of things for you. So to do and uh, and also a fix me is, a, is another one that Eclipse keeps track of and, and helps you to, to see what's going on. We can see this in action real quick just by running the program and saying exit and sure enough our program terminates. Okay, what are some other things that we put inside of here? How about a new item? So new item should wind up making a new drawing. New item dot on action function that takes an action event and you might have noticed when I did that I'll just go ahead and type open item but I don't think we know how to write this one yet how about add item because that's that one's going to be significant to us there are several things here that you can uh, set for the uh, that start with on. There's actually even more for for other elements in the GUI, and so we'll be looking at kind of a variety of these. Uh, this is kind of the general way of handling what are called events. Now, why is it done this way? Okay, so without a GUI, the way that we got input was we called methods like read int or read line. And those types of methods were just fine for the console. But the thing about the console is you only have one place to type. And this particular GUI, you know, this can take input in multiple locations. In some ways, I, not only can every single menu item be interacted with, we're going to have stuff here that I can click on. I am able to type down here there's just there are multiple aspects in a GUI that you can interact with and so the standard model of just reading input doesn't work we have to do something where we can be notified when the user does something that we care about and then we can take appropriate action and that's what these on methods are doing is we are here we're setting the function that should be called when the user does something that's interesting to us Okay, so a new item. Oh, what is this going to need to do? Well, it's it's going to definitely need to make a new drawing tab and add that into our uh, tab pane. Um, if we start thinking about this more, we said in our design that our drawing main was also going to need some data 
here a private possibly like a private var because we're going to mutate this um, for our the drawings that we have and for now I'm just actually going to make it just be a list of drawing and if we'll extend that if we find that we need to um, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that my drawing tab here actually takes a drawing as an argument and a name which will be a string and we can use that name down here so that we're not always being untitled and of course when we create something new it probably will be untitled so now this needs to have a drawing I can just create one and pass it untitled. Okay, new item. Well, for my new item, and we might actually, if we're going to do this, how about we do this? Val first drawing equals paste that first drawing. And we also need to have our drawings that list that we made we need to add on to it now normally for a list I would cons on to the front the problem with doing that here is I actually want the order of the drawings and the order of the tabs to match and when I add something to it to the tab pane it adds to the end so I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently and I'm going to do something which is actually rather inefficient, but we're never going to have like a thousand drawings open. So it's not too bad of a thing to do if I only have, you know, five, six, ten of these. And that is append to the end of a list. Uh, it turns out this has to build an entirely new list, which is why it's inefficient. Um, but it it will allow us to kind of map match together the tabs and the drawings because they'll have the same index. Okay. So, once again, we're back to our making a new item and we're going to have to make a new drawing. Val new drawing equals new drawing. Then we need to take, just like we did before, drawings equals drawings append new drawing oh, and I there we go and now we can uh, create a tab for this drawing and add it onto our tabs so val new tab equals actually I guess I could probably just do no let's let's do it this okay val new tab equals make drawing tab where we pass in the new drawing and our name here once again we're just creating this kind of out of thin air is going to be untitled if we were loading something in from a file once we do the the open command that will wind up calling that but passing it a different name it would be a name that was associated with the, the file that we just opened. Tab pane plus equals tab. Sorry, my new tab. Okay. Well, let's see what happens if we run this. And we say new. Sure enough, we get a new tab. They look exactly the same, so you can't tell that I'm switching. Actually, let's type in something there. And then when I switch over, you can tell that that text goes away. So that's the beginning of some interactivity. I'll, I'm going to add some more of it offline. There's not really a point in going through all of the, uh, the different options. And I'll come back and we'll talk about other ways that you can add interactivity, in particular binding, so that we can make the, the behaviors of some parts of this a little bit closer to what we want.